My name is David Holdsworth, and I teach a series of courses uh, here at Odell House under the title of Briefing Ministers and Senior Officials. After a 31-year career in the public service, when I was a senior assistant deputy minister and an assistant secretary to cabinet, I learned a couple of things about how you go about briefing ministers and deputy ministers and assistant deputy ministers in a way that's good for them and also is good for you. I learned that it can be fun. Believe it or not, most people think that briefing is a horrible challenge when they're asked to go in front of a minister, but I found there's a number of techniques that work and that's what I try and get across. We cover a number of different things relating to different kinds of briefings in the course. One part explains to people that don't have much familiarity in actually dealing with ministers or deputy ministers what their world looks like. What does the briefing look like from their point of view? My theory is that if you know your audience well, you know how they think and you know what they need to know, then your briefing is going to be a success every time. We also talk a little bit about written briefings. That's the way most public servants communicate. And there are techniques that I've learned the hard way in my own career that I, I try to share with the participants in the, in the course to say, how can you do that kind of thing efficiently under time pressure? Another component is when you have to give a two minute elevator briefing. It's a terrifying experience the first time but we do role playing to take away the fear. Another component is when you're asked to do a presentation to a management committee and it's your turn to shine. And so we talk about both the oral delivery and also about tips for how to do a good PowerPoint presentation. And then the final component in the course is about cabinet documents. That's a whole special skill set, but there are tricks that I've learned in how do you do that and how do you present the minister with something that will work in cabinet every time. So we spend a fair bit of time in that course on how cabinet actually works. The people who are most invited to this course, first of all, are public service executives because they're the ones who are very often in direct contact with the assistant deputy minister or the minister. We also invite people that have some experience in briefing as policy analysts. These people often are the executives of the future. We also invite senior specialists who from time to time are invited to make a presentation. I'm thinking here of people like senior scientists, senior people in the regulatory field, any field in which you have to make a presentation to a level in the senior management category of the department.